palm-sized specimen from the Kalahari manganese fields in the northern Cape of South Africa. We have a matrix of a, a low-grade manganese ore running through the back. Use this as a matrix. And then sitting across the top section, so I display it on a stand like this. So the sideways view would be this, going around like that. Of course, Olmiite, which is a... Uh, 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 quite abundant in the, from the Kalahari manganese fields, yet rare, uh, known as a rare mineral internationally. Um, <clears throat> now what happens, these are, let me just see if I can find a crystal form here. You see it's almost like doubly terminated minarets which have been compacted together to, to form what appears like botoids. Um, uh, Olmiat is typically fluorescent under shortwave UV light, so I imagine that this one too would fluoresce. I haven't tested it, but uh, the fluorescence would be a, a pink to a red. What I also quite enjoy is this brassiation through the cross sections here of those Olmiat crystals. Size wise, a little bit bigger than a palm size, actually close to a hand sized. Not all that heavy, but a, a lovely example of Olmiat formation. Definite artistic undertone aspect to this guy. All the way from South Africa, from the Kalahari manganese fields in the northern Cape of South Africa. Olmiat on a matrix. I don't see any other associations here. Maybe on closer magnification we might find little white built fontanite needles or maybe the occasional calcite here or maybe a little bit of manganite too. This is also quite lovely. Look at that.